Hey guys, it's B and Dale. In the last part, I gotta make sure I'm not sticking my head in the frame. In the last part, we did the evil foundry. In this part, we're going back to the sandy oasis because we've got <gasps> head to head. Be Uhu to the goal. Now you're gonna be going like, what the heck is Uhu? Is that Uhu as in the, the glue? And I'd like to use the quick slide actually. So I might um take away the uh the fire step and replace it with the quick slide. So anyway, yeah, um, my sister isn't here to so leave random comments, so she doesn't watch my video, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, hopefully I'm just gonna do in this sitting, I'm just gonna finish everything. So anyway, you may be going, who the heck is Uhu? Well, basically, well, read the subtitles that aren't actually voiced. The Wind Genie, there you go. Basically what this is, is just play through the stage with slight variations such as we put speed boost to some man instead of rings. Now you, you want to make sure you keep the distance good because you always want to be ahead. Or you want to be at the head at the end because it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, I've got the soul gauge. I've been editing the earlier videos and I've just, you know, I haven't noticed the fact that I have the solar gauge. Yeah, there you go, that's the problem. Uhu will fly over everything. Oh yeah, we're gonna need the pearls, cause yeah, the pearls, what they do is... They... I gotta explain this now, I actually have to show the, the soul gauge. Dang it, I, I completely forgot. I recorded the um... The last few parts are Wednesday, and it, um, although I think when we're watching this, I believe this is, yeah, this is Wednesday, I recorded the last week, and now I'm recording this on the Monday, ooh, a special page book, I keep calling them special pages, oh, jeez, so yeah, th there's a bunch of missions that you unlock, but you only really need to do this one. Some of his worldly knowledge with you. So, where is he? Well, according to rumor, he was fighting some. Oh my gosh. He was it's about rumor wrong. The roof. The roof? Roof. It's a giant bird. Well, not exactly a bird. It's more like a living fossil. That's not a nice word for my parents. Okay, so then where is this, uh, bird thing? I think the roof locks someplace out in the skies to the west. The skies, huh? Okay. Hey, Shara! Oh, Master. What is thy wish? I feel like rubbing that ring is like rubbing something carpet. else. We've got ourselves a roof to track down. Oh, that flying carpet would have come in handy to catch the king when he fell. I mean, I know I'll leave your faith in the hero, but... <laughs> It would have made things a lot better. Anyway, so we're going on to the next stage. This is actually... This is not my favorite. The last one is my favorite, unfortunately, so... But it, it is it is one of my more favored ones. I should really equip the ring, co the pearl collector, shouldn't I? Well, we'll show them off when the time comes. I believe the next... The next world... Has some cool music. He's throwing me back! So anyway, the gimmick, or at least with the beginning of this, is that there's wind and it's blowing you back. And it's pretty evident when you do this. Apparently the wind stopped. Okay. Did we already use that line? I don't know. They have to make sure that you see the rings that don't have spikes on them. Because you see how they contract like that? The rings with spikes are gonna hurt you on your fall. I'll, I'll use the... Wow! Are you kidding me? Sonic, go! <laughs> there you go, some pearls. There you go, we'll use it in this bit coming up. 
There you go. Boom! And I failed. There you go. Boom! That, that is the speed break. Basically, you, you go really fast. Now, you remember how I said you don't go fast at the beginning? This completely changes it. Oh, oh, of course they do that. There's probably something up there, but I can't get it now. Can I? Now, here is the annoying part of the stage. Yeah. You have to kind of go against them to act there, and you're stuck in this room, so that means, you know, you have to walk backwards. Now, this is the other reason why I like this. You don't catch them, by the way. Oh, yeah, but, but they want you to demonstrate this. Because it's awesome. No matter how short it is. By the way, later levels, they will make the soul gauge larger. Oh, yeah, they have torpedo tents. The wind actually blows you backwards off the Oh, yeah. Go! Go! It's a lot easier when you get the faster abilities. Again, miss that fire soul. I may as well tell you right now, fire souls are used to unlock mini games in the party mode. Now, unfortunately, I'm showing off. But. Yeah, so if you're trying to, you know, clear the entire game, don't bother with Fire Souls, they don't get you anything. But if you want to, you know, if you want to be a 100% up, you gotta collect all of them. I just gotta use this. That always gets me, that guy right there. Now we're gonna back it up. That guy always gets me. Yeah, I think so. Ah, physics gets in the way. Also, killing enemies gives you pearls. Do you want to know that? Sometimes... Why? Dude, he's getting in the way! Ah, well. So it may seem kind of buggy. The way I'm controlling this. And... Uh, I'll have to admit, yeah, it's not a perfect game, but I enjoyed it somehow. So, you know, it's obviously done this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, watch out for these things. Oh, my goodness, what is with these guys? Now this is the awkward bit. There you go. I don't know, the control's a bit flimsy. I really should have put my ring collector on the uh, pearl collector like, because then you get all of those. We'll show off the other ability. When it comes, I barely use the other ability though, that's the problem. Oh, are they gonna chuck a random bunch of enemies in front of me or no? They're gonna do the sightseeing tour. Oh yeah. Let's go! Woo! It's awesome in moments like that, especially when you get the soul gauge to be large enough to like cover the entire screen, you know? They just keep coming. I don't know. Because yeah, you know, the soul gauge is kind of short, you'll get it to be about three times longer than that. Considering how long it lasts. Just then. There's some actually pretty fun missions in this, uh... Stage. Are you kidding me? I'm not. Get on the point, don't cough. There 
ないなナイラウンジあーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーやーget silver rings from that, I don't know exactly how, but okay. So yeah, you may be going like, what the heck is going on? And the awkward bit is, you think it's a 2D platformer, but it's just not. That's the other ability. Yeah, I may as well show that off. Seven minutes, jeez. Seven minutes, jeez. Wow, that's, that is a long stage. Ooh, level up, level up. So our ring gauge is now 78. I don't think it's called ring gauge, but... Aha! Aha! Hard break. That's what she said. Holy snap, you get a lot of stuff from this stage. Knuckles! How'd you get here? I am Dan Green. Oh, Sinbad, it truly is you, the great adventurer. Would you be willing to give us some of your worldly wisdom? Hey, er, Miss... Uh, Shara. Shara. <laughs> Listen, I hate to break it to you, but I'm kind of stuck here. You're the ones who should be helping me. I feel a strong magical force here. What? It must be the work of the Eraser Jinn. Which means, if we can break the spell, we can undo... As opposed to any other lock! No, talking? That's the ticket, Shara! Come on, Shara. Let's just leave him there. Hey, listen, Hedgehog. Life's a game of give and take, see? You help me get out of here, and in return, I'll help you out later. Not a bad deal, huh? <laughs> Wisdom. Knuckles? Wah, God, wah, never mind. Wah. Come on, let's find that key. And this will lead on to the next stage, which I might as well do because I'd be cutting it short. But it is a long stage. So you can jump. Yeah, you can jump into the rampage if you want. But I'm going to be jumping into the special challenge, which is the open Zimbad stage, of course. Okay, first of all, I'm going to equip some stuff first. You can equip all around it, but then I can't really get the um. Oh, gosh. You see what I mean, you know? I'm gonna skip the ring bonus to get the pearl collector, because I might need the pearl collector for the ring bonus. It's only useful for some of the toughest stages. You know, the stages that are difficult at the beginning, because otherwise, then, you know, you can take another hit at the beginning of stages, but that's about it. We'll find a ring somewhere. Ah, oh, so there's tons of rings. So anyway, here we go. We're gonna go on a hunt. Unfortunately, it pretty much leads us straight to all the places. But you're gonna have to be climbing a few of these towers. Especially because it locks you in. So there we go. Oh yeah, it's also rockets. I was apparently getting hit while it was just soul gate. I thought that'd be interesting. Go! Oh yeah. Go off for the trailers. Okay. Now what? Should I pull this lever? This is what you gotta do. You just pull the lever with your turn the remote, and it shines the light, and it breaks one of the thingy, one of the glowing thingies. And now we gotta go in a different direction. Oh, there's also balls. 
And they come at you really, really quickly. I mean, look at that. <gasps> Fun? You know, after school friends do stuff together and that stuff. Well, I can do it with. And there's your problem. You get it, you know. Bonk. Alright, so here we go. I don't know why they... Whoa, gosh. Sequence breaking, I think so. They make the, the bouncy thingies available only for a short amount of time, just so you know. Whoop. Don't go down here. Just so you can't... Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding. What the heck was that? That's the problem. You keep targeting them for some strange stuff. Yeah, you're gonna be going like, are you serious? I don't know how that works, but I'll just go with it. But yeah, you know, they just put these fire souls in weird places. And all for what? Just for mini games. Also, these rings come back, I don't know how. So anyway, off we go! See the... The fire thingy. Ouch. My face. Oh yeah, here's the opposite. When you hit that, all the enemies come up. I mean, I wouldn't mind walking back... Yeah, I wouldn't mind the walking backwards so much if they didn't make it such a thing here, you know? Yeah, I know, right? You're going like, how the heck do you do this? So I should have totally gone the back step in, shouldn't I? You can't jump over these things, so you gotta, you know, try to dodge these two guys. No rings, jeez. A bit harsh on the rings, aren't they? There you go. Don't miss it. What? <laughs> yeah, they're a bit of jacks. But you, but you can skip that bit if you go down here. Woo! And there's fire star too. Win-win situation. We're on to the last one, which is good. Respawning rings, genius. Who came up with this? I must have them down for the Nobel Prize. Oh yeah. What is Shara doing? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. What does this have to do with the Arabian Nights? There's a chest there. I want to get that. So where are we going? What are we doing? I believe if you do it partially, you can get that fire soul, but now how many times am I going to try that? Can I get the fire soul? Yeah! Physics! Oh my goodness, there's just a ring's kind of popping out of there. Didn't everyone try to show off physics? I mean, Half-Life 2, I love that game as much as everyone else does. But, you know, the physics feel kind of gimmicked. And you may be going, what the heck was going on there? Well, they wanted you to walk backwards. I don't know why. I don't know, the physics seem kind of gimmicked in Half-Life 2. I 
I mean, I understand you use it as a weapon. But, you know. So yeah, you might be going, what the heck are you doing? You gotta go to the, to the different thingies and chickens everywhere. Okay, go, 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 go! I don't feel like jumping for that. Plus, it's a chest here every time with a, with a silver ring. What more could you ask for? Oh yeah. Finish! So as you can tell, the Levitated Ruins has some of the longest stages in the game. And then you do a cool jump. The only time you'll ever jump backwards. Yeah, geez, that were long stages. And I still got bronze. It is like the insert long stage here. Of the Sonic Universe. What, what stage? Not the lost world. Jeez. Why would you suggest that? Oh, special book. Oh, look, another level. Dang it. Oh my gosh, missions everywhere. Whew. Okay, so about the fire genie then. Why not just try splashing some water on him? Wah, wah, wah. wah. The wisdom of Sinbad of the Seven Seas, the adventurer of adventurers. Hey, I don't see you coming up with any better ideas. Stop it! How did you get here? The problem is, how are we going to get enough water to put out a fire, Genie? Why are you guys not that easy? I here? was getting to that. Huh. You see, the pirates who locked me up here took the water blue ring I used to control storms. The water's actually kind of clear in color. blue ring. First a fire, Genie, and now pirates, huh? The Arabian Nights really are worlds of endless adventures, aren't they? Well, that's only 110 missions in the game, so it's not endless. It's not endless ocean, even though that has an end to it. I heard people complaining that endless ocean had an end to it. Jeez. Okay, I'll see you kids next time. Because, yeah, stuff. <laughs>